The Thing. Yes, The Thing was a fucked up movie. I remember watching it when I was 8 or 9 years old and having the shit scared out of me. Why, you ask? Because of that dog kennel scene. I mean, look at it. Try watching that when you're eight. It's because of that exact reason that I have this movie as my number one favorite horror movie of all time, and my number three movie of all time. But what makes this movie so good? Well, to understand it, you'd have to have the memory that I do. And you'd have to understand that this movie was the first movie to ever truly scare me. But also gave me a peek at what will eventually come in my horror movie career. So with that being said, let me break the plot down to you. This movie is set in a small research station in Plumfuck, Antarctica, and it's occupied by these men, RJ McCready, Blair, Knowles, Palmer, Childs, Copper, Norris, Bennings, Clark, Gary, Fuchs, and Windows, Palmer being my personal favorite. Everything seems to be going fine until a Malamute being chased by a Norwegian helicopter comes into the scene. They want to kill it, but they end up taking the dog in as their own and blowing up the helicopter. Well, this isn't your average dog. This dog is an alien that replicated the dog's appearance. Enter the dog kennel scene. So from this point on, the group knows that this alien takes the form of any living entity and replicates their looks, so nobody can be trusted. You see, what we're talking about here is an organism that imitates other life forms, and it imitates them perfectly. When this thing attacked our dogs, it tried to digest them, absorb them, and in the process, shape its own cells to imitate them. It's a very simple story that was based on the 1950s classic, The Thing from Another World, which was based off of the 1938 novella, Who Goes There? And the 50s one is flawless. I mean, it's your classic alien movie, but John Carpenter decided to give it an update. And he was already a fan of the movie that he even included clips of it in Halloween. There are a number of things why I love this movie, so let's get started. I loved how Carpenter duplicated that isolated feel that the original had done so flawlessly. And it truly gave the audiences no hope sense of despair. Anybody watching it immediately feels claustrophobic, and you begin to have this overwhelming sense of paranoia because even as an audience member, you don't know whom to trust. The movie fucks with your head and it doesn't offer any kind of sympathy for you. Even the fucking establishing shots keep reminding you that they are alone. And if that's not enough, look at the ending. Talk about a kick in the balls. Who's the alien? Is it McCready or is it Childs? Even more so, let's look at the setting of this grizzly tale. Antarctica, noted for its icy weather and violent wind conditions. How perfect for a movie like this. The weather just accents the entire plot, and the way the white barren snow gives us this sterile feeling when it's actually the opposite. Nothing is sterile. The movie owes a lot to the original. Carpenter kept that amazing opening that the 1950s classic had done. And for a 50s film, it really was shocking. There's even a scene where the staff is looking through some tapes that the Norwegians took when they discovered the craft in the ice. And it bears a huge resemblance to the scene in the original movie when the team finds the spaceship. So you can argue that the remake is actually a sequel in some sense. What I also liked about this movie is the science of it. The original movie told us that the thing has the power to replicate living things. But we never really knew the science of the entity. Well, this movie tells us everything we need to know about it. That's not dog. It's imitation. We got to it before it had time to finish. Exactly. So each cell is capable of acting as an individual life form, and we finally see this happening when McGrady drops the petri dish full of blood. Look at that shit. 
God damn. <laughs> what I want to know is, where did the blood go? Isn't that contaminating the place even more? Now, let's get to the special effects. Yeah, the special effects. We aren't fucking around this time. This was 1982, before CGI, so Carpenter really abused the puppetry that Universal was known for. The puppetry and the special effects in this movie was a tour de force in horror film, as well as cinema itself. We all know that Cronenberg is the master when it comes to body mutilation and infection, but Carpenter assures us that he can twist, disfigure, and mash the body and its flesh into something truly original. The alien, or the thing, in all its forms just highlights the movie, and it truly is one of the most remarkable and grotesque beauty that I've ever seen in a horror film. It's gory, it's gross, it's disgusting, and yet, I can't take my eyes off of it. Honestly, I can go on and on about this movie, and for those of you that know me, it's true. I only scratched the surface of this film. This is what a horror film is all about. The aliens in the movie pop out out of nowhere when you least expect it, something that horror movies neglect nowadays. I mean, I can't find one thing about this movie that I can complain about, except for maybe the special effects overshadowing everything else in the movie. But other than that, everything is perfectly balanced. Character development. Nobody trusts anybody now. A jazzy score collaborated by fucking Ennio Morricone. And the all-star cast. So you can see that because of all of my rambling, that this movie has had a great influence on me. And it's because of the thing that I've always had a thing for horror movies. Thank you, John Carpenter. And thank you, The Thing. You gotta be fucking kidding.